an imam uh, in Birmingham is calling for the for legal action on the part of the government for the government to take legal action against this grammar school teacher. Uh, so let's have a listen uh, and a watch of this. Uh, uh, we're gonna. We're going to, well, we'll go to Ben Habib first and we'll play you the clip as soon as it's ready. Uh, ben, hello. Good afternoon, Kevin. Uh, now, uh, th this situation, you know, I think this uh, Batley Grammar School teacher has been through a terrible ordeal. He's a father with kids and a wife. Uh, he's had to change his identity. He's still in hiding uh, uh, because he had the temerity to try to educate his pupils. Uh, now, the Muslim uh, community around that school said that he was blasphemed against the Prophet. Uh, but uh, this is a freedom of speech issue, is it not? Now, we have this uh, head imam at the Green Lane Mosque in Birmingham is now laying into that teacher and saying that the government must take, must take legal action against him. Uh, let's uh, just watch him now. And it, and it is also an indication, it is an indication of the failure of some of the parts of the education system in the UK. If the teacher, someone who is entrusted, someone who is expected to promote British values, someone who is expected to promote respect and tolerance, if the teacher himself does such kind of act, then this is not good for the society. And it, it indicates the failure and the weakness within the system. Uh, ben, that was Sheikh Zakuala Salim. Uh, he's at the Green Lane Mosque in Birmingham. Uh, he's caught saying that uh, that uh, this is that what the teacher did is against British values. I would suggest that what he's saying is against British values, wouldn't you? Yeah. So, I mean, there are a number of things to unpick here. I think, Kevin. The first is the the point you absolutely rightly made, which is in the, in this country, and the heart of freedom and the heart of our democracy is the right of free speech. And um, there's no way that that teacher could be accused of spreading hatred or inciting violence or, uh, sorry, forget about, spread, spread, uh, I take that back about spreading hatred. There's no way that teacher could be accused of inciting violence against a minority Muslim group by discussing the Charlie Hebdo or showing the Charlie Hebdo cartoons. That is an educational matter for the teacher to make a decision on. And it was very topical, I think, back in 2020, uh, was it 2015 that the Charlie Hebdo shootings took Something place? Something like that, and, yeah. Yeah, 2015. And, you know, it's, it's absolutely right that people should be taught what happened in Paris and, uh, and the result of, uh, of those cartoons. And for both sides of the debate, you know, so that there's open discussion about it. And there's no way this particular teacher could be found wanting of... Uh, uh, of the law uh, by by showing yeah. these cartoons. I'm just wondering, class. Ben. I'm wondering, Ben, what it is that the imam uh, thinks that this teacher should be brought to book about. You know, the authorities must take legal action about what? What is he supposed yeah. to have done? If, so, you, if they want to say blasphemed, I'm sorry, but uh, we got rid of our blasphemy laws. This isn't the medieval ages anymore. Uh, so what else do they think that yeah. he could be, uh, have legal action launched against him about? Absolutely. So, I mean, that's the really pertinent point, that the imam can take offence by what is actually a, the, a perfectly valid uh, expression of British values, the right to discuss uh, anything for that matter. Um, what he's trying to, what he's seeking to do is to impose Islamic law on the United Kingdom, because under Islamic law it is blas blasphemous to show an image of... Sharia law, uh, of right, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 under Sharia law, yeah. it's blasphemous to show an image of the Prophet. Yeah. But we don't practice Sharia law in this country. Yeah. And what, what, what we're seeing increasingly, Kevin, is multiculturalism practiced in silos and schisms across our society, abutting up against each other. And a real difficulty, I find, in the United Kingdom, with the speed at which immigration has taken mm. place, the speed, therefore, at which our society has been asked to adapt, the inability of our society to adapt at that speed, mm. and this kind of confrontation that is welling up 
between various parts of uh, yeah. uh, of the United I Kingdom. I mean, I think the thing... Because, sorry, carry on. One last point. Yeah. I just, it's a very, very worrying development that we can't go about expressing mm. ourselves freely, teaching freely, mm. without fearing a, the, a backlash of the sort. I think, I think it's seen. kind of worrying as well, Ben, that uh, this imam seems to believe that some kind of British law has been broken here. Well, it might break Sharia law, but no British law has been broken here.